Hello, friends, and welcome back to Uncle Robert Plays Enter the Gungeon. Okay, I think we're due for a hunter run at this point. And I'm also reasonably certain that we can't afford anything in uh, here because we're broke. All right, everything costs literally twice as much money as we have. So instead, let's just, you know, head on down. Uh, so last night, I actually watched the uh, new Spider-Man fil film, Far From Home. It was actually pretty good. I, it was, I liked it a lot more than I expected to. And I mean, to be honest, I didn't really expect to like it much at all. <laughs> I did see uh, Enter the, Into the Spider-Verse, or Enter the Spider-Verse, or whatever the kids are calling it. And I did really enjoy that, I will say that much. And I also did enjoy Far From Home, too. It had a lot of heart. Which, you know, honestly is exactly what I would expect from a Spider-Man movie. Because Spider-Man has always been that sort of, hey, I'm a regular dude kind of superhero. Which I think really is uh, why, um, oh, don't hit the water barrel. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, Spider-Man has always been that sort of, I'm a regular dude kind of superhero. Whereas all the other heroes in the MCU are like billionaires and geniuses and space aliens and super-powered mutants and super soldiers. I mean, Captain America does kind of come close. At least he was more or less a regular dude before he became Captain America. I mean, I guess Spider-Man was more or less a regular dude before he became Spider-Man. Okay, where are you, little friend? Oh, there, there's a... Gaysper, this guy ain't. You guys know Gaysper, right? The, uh, the Rainbow Ghost, who was originally invented as a means of being, um, some kind of spooky... I think it was, uh... Whoa, shit! <coughs> Pardon my language, friends. Well, you know what? I got my revenge on them. Anyway, what was I talking about? Yeah, Gaysper. He was, uh, <laughs> Originally, that little, uh, Rainbow Ghost who, uh, was invented as a criticism of, I guess, gay pride or something? And then, of course, the LGBT community took one look at this guy and thought, Oh my god, he's so cute! And I guess he became their mascot. So, nice try, anti-LGBT movement. Y you tried, so I guess, you know, we can give them a cake for trying. Um... But yeah, so I'm not, I'm not uh, going to channel the spirit of Tom Holland and... Spoil uh, Far From Home for all you little, uh, whoa, spider friends out there. I mean, Tom Holland definitely seems like a cool enough guy. Like the whole lovable doofus uh, awkward archetype that, well, basically is Spider-Man. So I think it was definitely a good choice. Although the Spider-Man with, like, the Brooklyn, whoa, excuse me, accent from, uh, what was it, Amazing Spider-Man? He was definitely interesting. But not quite the nerd that you would expect from a Spider-Man. Although it is nice to see Dennis Leary in films again. I think the last time I saw him was uh, in an actual movie. Well, there was that uh, one TV show he was in where he played, like, a firefighter. Like the Gary Shandling of Firefighters. And then, uh, I can't remember what that was called, though. Rescue Me, I think? Yeah, that's what it was called, Rescue Me. And there is a film, I think it was a made-for-TV movie. And it was actually incredibly well done, I think, in my personal opinion. Uh, it was called, uh, The Second Civil War. It was when, um, some news out media outlets... Whoa. There was the governor of... I think it was New Mexico, or was it, uh, Texas? who uh, he made some remarks about someone succeeding him because he was planning on just resigning. He had, well, let's just say he had some... Oh, come on. Oh, nice dodge, buddy. The teleport dodge. It's like the opposite of the telefrag. Anyway, I was talking about <clears throat> the second Civil War film. So it all starts, there's this uh, governor of Texas, I believe. He was very anti-immigration. And then he had uh, an affair with, whoa, this uh, Hispanic woman that resulted in a child. I, can't, I don't think she was, um, 
like his housekeeper or anything. I think she was actually a uh, journalist. And so he decided that he was going to step down. He had a change of heart. He figured, you know what? Politics isn't for me anymore. And, you know, honestly, I'm kind of looking forward to having this son, even though, you know, I've railed against uh, immigrants, particularly those of the Latino persuasion for so long. I did not get an extra key. This sucks. So that's the question, my friends. Are we going to go to the Oubliette or not? Hmm. Hmm. Well, you know what? Let's try... Um. You know what? Let's just fight the boss. How bad could it possibly be? Pretty bad. Anyway, so at one point he makes remarks regarding his um, succession. And uh, the media mistaken, mistakes that statement for one being regarded to secession. And so it starts like a whole new civil war in the United States. And it goes from being this lighthearted comedy to being this incredibly... Uh, how do I put this? For lack of a better term, terrifying and depressing... Whoa! Okay, I should have blanked there, because I dodged roll the wrong way. Anyway, this uh, terrifying and depressing, and uh, ay ay ay. In this day and age, I guess you could consider it like somewhat accurate <laughs> portrayal of a second civil war in the United States and the toll that would take. Yeah, it got really dark really fast. Hell, even Dennis Leary got some really serious moments in which he also played a rather cynical journalist who was absolutely horrified at the atrocities he witnessed during the course of that second civil war. And we got, I think, shot bow? Oh, triple crossbow. Oh, and we got two keys. Well, 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 look at me. And we have enough money to afford the prime primer. Well, I mean, we will. So we don't really need to go to the Oubliette. I might anyway. I haven't decided yet. Science cannon. I can't remember if that sucks or not. Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough. What does this do again? Escape rope. Works anywhere. What does that do? I'm pretty sure it'll just kill me, so let's not worry about that. Hmm. You know what? Let's not bother going to Lubli yet. We don't need to, because we only need, what, like, uh... 23 more casings, which I'm pretty sure we can get. Uh, maybe there'll be uh, some kind of junk salesman or something on the next floor. We can sell in that escape rope, which, again, I'm not really certain what that does. Um, let's try the triple crossbow. Uh, hello? There? Whoa. I was really expecting somebody to be in that room. Whoa. Buddy. Okay, that was just... A truly embarrassing display. Whoa. They, they were just all stacked on... Hey, thanks, Sarge. You're a lifesaver. Whoa. Hello there. Don't care. Got a key. Um, I think there was another one of those guys in here. The uh, ones that spawn stuff that isn't keys. Oh, come on. Oh, you... You cheeky little... Oh. Yikes! Alright, I actually thought I could, like, legit dodge that without rolling. You know what? Let's try the science cannon. I've never used this before. Oh, it's a beam. That's pretty neat. Uh, well... That, not so much. Okay, that's too bad, because we were doing really well. We just got greedy for that little key, buddy. You know what? That's fine. We'll just, uh... Do another run. <laughs> I mean, I wonder if maybe I should have gone to the, um... Oubliette. Because hilariously enough, the Oubliette would have been easier than that one room that we died in.
Uh, but anyway, every the whole every man normal dude. I'm just one of you superheroes. That whoa, was that really necessary there, friendo? Oh wait, <laughs> I thought I could exit that way. And uh -huh. okay, this is uh, just getting ridiculous. One of these days, I'm going to actually aim at an enemy before I shoot. But will today be that day? Oh. I did not expect to get that shell. That little uh, shell buddy. The little shell friend of me. Yeah, this is going much better. All right, let's see the next one. Oh, nice. The teledodge. So instead of the telefrag, it's more like the telefrag uh, you, buddy. Nah, eh, I might as well just walk out here. Now, what's interesting is that I have not seen... Okay, you're not barking at it. I have not seen uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I'll stick with the crossbow for now. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just go with that. Whoops. Wrong turn. Because I'm trying to think if there's a DC hero like that. I mean, there have been interpretations of Superman where they tried to make him like that, like Smallville and stuff, and it's like, no, dude, you're, you're Superman. You're not a normal dude. And you never will be. I'm sorry. Uh, hello? Oh, wow, that, that hit a whole lot of nothing. Oh, wow. It's, a real, it's really a party now, isn't it? There ain't no party like a Gungeon party, because the Gungeon parties don't stop spawning enemies in the room over and over again. Oh, okay, well maybe they do. I've just been proven wrong. I'll come back for you, sir. Okay, and this is the birdies. It's the birds! Oh, hello there, sir. Um, no, I want to use uh, that, I guess. And is that it? That's it. What is this? Ring of Mimic Friendship. I think that makes Mimics not attack us. Makes chess safer. Oh, I think I see. It... I think uh, prevents mimics from spawning or reduces the chances of it, which kind of actually sucks because it means that um, we're definitely going to need to make sure we have, you know, a key budget if we want to actually open chests. There's another one. Oh, well, he wasn't there. There you are. Ahem. Ahem. Finish. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I had one shot. I missed my chance. Eight mile M&M would be very disappointed in me. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Hello, sir. Whoop. <laughs> wow. Uh, I, I could have sworn that didn't hit me. Well, I mean, that would be... That's silly to say. Whoop. Hey. That could have been handled better. But you know what? Live and learn, friends. Live and learn. Yeah, playing chicken with that guy probably wasn't uh, a particularly wise decision. But uh, you know what? Such is life. Um, hmm. No. Is that it? Oh, dear. That is it. And there's two brown chests, so I'm kind of not overly interested in... Uh, 
Ah, mm. oh, it's these guys. Uh, I should definitely pick one and stick with it. But I've been told by people far better at Gungeon than I am that the key to beating these clowns is to focus on one at a time. Uh, and also blank when necessary, which I, I didn't think I would need. Oh, dear. Yeah, I didn't think I would need to blank there, but I actually did need to blank there. Uh oh, this is not a good place to be. One day I will uh, flawless the trigger twins, but today is not that day. What is this? The Winchester. That's a Terminator reference if I ever saw one. Okay. So I can technically open one chest, actually both, because I have enough money to buy another key. And I use it on armor instead. Well, you know what? Okay. Um, excuse me, I had a bit of a stuff there. Stuffy nose there. Um, hmm. Actually, I wanted to open that chest and break this one, but eh. Ooh, what's this? Clear Guan Stone. Uh, what does that do? I feel like I should actually look these items up. Negates poison damage. That will actually be really useful on the Oubliette. Uh, yes, this will take me there. Okay, so for the Oubliette, uh, you know what? Let's just try the Winchester. I don't think I've ever actually used this gun before, so. See if it's any good. I mean, I guess all guns are good because you actually really need them to complete this game. You know what? Yeah, I think it actually would be impossible to do our Gungeon Run without guns because you can't leave a room until everyone inside it is dead. It's like three dozen men enter, one woman and a dog leaves. Whoa, that's actually really good. Whoops. Uh. The rate of fire is pretty decent, too. It is short range, of course. I mean, it is like some kind of shotgun. Whoa! Okay. Uh. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I should have dodged both those times. But you know what? That's fine. Um, hmm. Can't win them all, I guess. Oh, dear. There's more! Whoa! Those are some fast bullets. Yikes! I really need to... Uh, <laughs> be a little more careful. Because I did I did not flawless the first floor boss, and as a result, I'm going to have less health here. I mean, getting hit technically also results in me having less health, so I should probably try to avoid that, too. Okay, I actually thought I could dodge that again. Ah, well, it's mistaken. Ooh, noise. No, don't open the chest. Okay, that is not a mimic. I mean, how could it be when I have the ring of chest friendship? Ay, caramba! Are, are those bullets tracking me? It feels like those bullets are tracking me. Okay, this is getting kind of embarrassing. Well, actually, I'm not performing any worse than normal, but... One of these days, friends. One of these days. Yikes. Uh, hello? Hello? Oops. You! Enough! Is that it? That appears to be it. What the heck is that? Oh, that's the store up there. Yes, please take me take me to church. Okay, so I don't... Wow, they're not selling... Ring of Chet Vampirism. Hmm. Actually, I can't really buy anything here. 
Yeah, I can't really buy anything here because... One, I need money for the next floor, and two, there's no health, which is what I wanted to buy, honestly. Okay, that went not so badly. Oh, I was going to kick the table up. That's what I get for trying to be cute. Settle down, young man. There is a very vocal cat over there. Okay. So this time, for all the marbles. I know, I actually, you know, I haven't recorded in a while, and honestly, I didn't really want to record today, but I needed to get some videos done for, wow, this week, or from where I'm sitting next week. And you know what? It's like going to work. Sometimes you gotta go, even if you don't want to. Because, you know, you gotta maintain your luxurious lifestyle of sleeping indoors and eating more than, you know, once a month. I mean, not that I actually make money off of this, but I got a long way to go before this channel is, is uh, monetized. Mostly it's just a hobby, honestly. Oh, hello there. Didn't see ya. Um, is there a fireplace here? There sure is. Uh, uh, guys? Guys? I, I, I'm gonna need that water barrel. Oh, uh, did they break the water barrel? I really hope not. Oh, they didn't. Oh, that's gonna break the water barrel. Oh, it didn't. Lucky me. Hmm. I mean, all these runs of, you know, it's not started out so badly. I think the big problem is me just taking, whoa, uh, a thoroughly unacceptable amount of damage. Although I guess, you know, technically you could claim that all damage is unacceptable damage. Um, is that it? Okay. We're done here. Come on, Sarge. <clears throat> wow. The name of the... Okay, it looked like I missed, but I was totally aiming for that grenade. The little, uh, green frenemy there. I think I got something. Did I get the ghost? Is Jasper the unfriendly ghost? Uh, hello? Goodbye. Okay, that went pretty well, I think. Alright, so, but... Will we go to the Oubliette? I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like going to the Oubliette. But it also depends on how much money we have at the end of this run. I mean, this floor. If I think we have a reasonable chance of getting enough money to afford the, whoa, Prime Primer, then I will not. Unless, you know, I really think that I might, you know, need the extra guns. Am I even hitting these guys? I don't think I am. The fact that they're still firing at me would seem to indicate that I am not, in fact, hitting them. Yeah. I think I took too long there. Yeah, I missed my point-blank range. Daryl Dixon, I am not. On the plus side, I am actually hitting, not necessarily the enemies I'm aiming... Whoa, the enemies I'm aiming at, but I'm hitting something. It's like when I go to the actual real-life archery range. Ah, oh, sunglasses, that's a drill, I think. Yeah, and key. When I go to the actual archery range, I never hit my own targets, but I always hit everyone else's pretty much dead center, so... I mean, that's got to count for something. Nope. Hmm. That probably loops around the path leading upwards. I mean, you never know with this place. Anyone else? You? Yep. 
that's it. And again, the Sarge is not barking. Hmm. I mean, finding secret rooms are useful, but the interesting thing about Gungeon, and also Isaac too, actually, now that I think about it, is that secret rooms aren't always that useful. But I mean, on the other hand, whoa! Okay, I don't know why I didn't expect Rambo there. It must be like the Spanish Inquisition. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, um... Secret rooms aren't always useful. Ah, two brown chests, too. That's unfortunate. Um, you know what? Sure, why not? Oh, man, not you again. Yikes! Yikes! I just shot at nothing for no reason. Uh, sir, please. Yikes. Anyway, what was I, uh, rambling on about? Let me just, uh, focus on this for a second. <laughs> oh. I tried so hard and got so far. And then, oh. And in the end, it didn't even matter. Whoops. That crossbow bolt hit nothing. <laughs> Alright. Uh, no keys. We got moon scraper. Or gamma ray, I mean. Let's see. So we will have to get about 50 casings on the next floor in order to afford um... Hmm... Yeah, we'll need to get about 50 casings if we go if we don't go to the oubliette. So I think I will go to the oubliette. And who knows? We might find a junk in somewhere. Uh, hmm. <clears throat> I, I'm hesitant to mo use the moon... Actually, the moon scraper might not be the worst gun that I could possibly use on the, um... The oubliette. I mean, there are quite a few enemy... Well... Three that I can think of, actually. Oh, wait, no. Four. Five. Five different types of enemies that are immune to poison on the oubliette. Whoa. Neither one of these two are either of them are them. Hmm. Uh oh. That green shell casing is definitely one of them though. So I guess we're uh Oh nice, actually. I guess we're not sticking with the starting pistol. <laughs> What a fortuitous drop. Now, I'm pretty sure that the Sarge must have been responsible for that. But you know what? Let's, um... Let's give the Sarge a good pat on the head uh, when we're finished here. Hmm. When we're giving, uh, finished giving these nice young frenemies a tap on the head. Oh, wait. Uh, excuse me a second, Sarge. Nice. You either gave us a blank or you gave us a full ammo case, Sarge. Either way. Whoa. Uh. Merci. Uh, give me one second there, little bullet friendo. I should have just shot this guy. <laughs> like, what the heck is wrong with me? Oh, 
I was not paying attention to what was going on around me. Whoa! That is, I think, one of the number one causes of my demise in Gungeon. That and just plain sucking. <clears throat> what do you have here? Oh, a full heart for sale. And a t-shirt cannon, which I'm not really enthused about. Thing is, I don't, I don't want to buy the full heart. Because it will definitely put me behind. I'm going to anyway, because I'll probably die if I don't. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch out for those. Wait. Oh, I don't have enough money for that key. Well, let's see if we can rectify that. Nope, looks like we can't. Not yet, anyway, but we're getting there. I might have to save the Prime Primer for another run, honestly. Whoops. Uh, hello? Excuse me? Oh. Okay, I did not need to walk into both of those bullets. But I guess, in a way, it's... Well, it's not good that I did. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna use a key to get in there. Seems like kind of a waste, honestly. Oh, there won't be a secret room there. Considering that those, uh... They look like they're wearing cowboy hats, even though they technically aren't. If you take a close look at the artwork. But I'm gonna call them cowboys anyway. Those cowboy bullets? They, um... Seriously? Well, it's better than nothing, I guess. Sort of. I mean, I, I, um... I'm definitely gonna be winning water gun fights. Oh, you found something! Hey, what'd you find, Sarge? Uh, nothing? I could have sworn I saw you digging in there. Well, we'll give him a pet anyway. We'll give him another one, because he tried. Okay. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm doing that thing where I'm looking at my target instead of paying attention to what's happening around me again. Which is, uh, oh. Oh, wow. That guy totally... Well, I mean, I guess he didn't... Whoa, hello there. I guess saying that he no-scoped me is inaccurate. I guess that would count as... Would that count as a quick scope? Not really. Oh, wow. Well, that counts as a loss. A dismal failure. But you know what? That's fine. Um, we were pretty sloppy. I mean, I was playing pretty sloppy uh, back then. And I want to blame it on not getting good guns, but that's just not good enough. Anyway, we will do better next time. By we, I mean me, of course. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you don't like it. And uh, share as well if you want to. I'm Uncle Robert, and I will see you next time.